Hi there. Just as a quick recap, in case you didn't uh, see the previous video, what we've got here is a company that has 200 employees and they're classified as full-time workers, part-time workers or contractors in this table here. And we're told that the events F, H and C are that an employee is full-time worker. I'll just put this in here as F actually. And H is a part-time worker and C is a contractor. And now we're told that let B be the event that an employee uses the bus. And given that 10% of full-time workers use the bus, 30% of part-time workers use the bus, and 20% of contractors use the bus, we've got to, in part D, draw a Venn diagram to represent the events F, H, C and B for four marks, and then go on in the final part, part E, to find the probability that a randomly selected employee uses the bus to travel to work for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, we'll run through the work solutions, or you might want to fast forward just to the answers, okay? Okay, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, first of all then, I'm just going to get the totals of the full-time workers, part-time workers, and the contractors. So, for the full-time workers, we've got a total of 10 here, 2 and the 8, so we'll just put 10 there, okay? And part-time workers, 35 plus 75, that gives us 110. And then... For the contractors, 30 plus 50, that's 80. And the reason I'm doing that is that we're going to need to work out various percentages of these quantities here. So first of all then, we've got to draw a Venn diagram. Now, there's two ways that we could draw a Venn diagram here. There's one like this, which I'm not that wild about, okay, but... Whatever we do, we've just got to draw a border around the outside, okay, something like that. This would represent all the employees, all 200 of them. And generally when we draw Venn diagrams, we end up putting uh, shapes like circles in them. So you could have, for instance, one curve, something like that, to illustrate the full-time workers. Now, if we've got part-time workers, these are going to be mutually exclusive from full-time workers. That is, that there's no intersection. You're either full-time or you're part-time. So this would be another set here, okay, which will label H. It won't overlap the F. And then we've got contractors and that would also be a mutually exclusive set. So I'll just put it down there, okay, for C. And then you've got the set B for the people who use the bus. So we would put something like this in here for those people that use the bus. I call that B, all right? So that would be... A, a suitable Venn diagram, but I just think that it's a bit over the top, okay? I want to simplify it, so this will be my version. We'll just draw our set again, often called the universal set, okay, that is everything, in this case the 200 employees. Now because we've got the three sets F, H and C, which are mutually exclusive, I think it would be better just to do something like this, okay? Because we're dealing with all 200 employees, so there's going to be nobody outside here, okay? There'll be a zero there. So I might as well fill up, in my opinion, the whole set with our three mutually exclusive sets, F, H, and C, all right? And then when it comes to the people who bus, okay, I just draw a set something like that to illustrate those people that use the bus. So 
let's now start to fill in some of the regions. I'm going to work off this diagram though and then I'll fill in this one over here. So we're told that 10% of the full-time workers use the bus. Well if there was 10 of them, 10% of 10 is just going to be 1. So one of the full-time workers uses the bus. So I'm going to put a 1 in there, okay? And because we had 10 full-time workers, there must be 9 out here. If I look at the part-time workers, we're told that there are 30% of part-time workers use the bus. Well, 10% of 110 is 11, so 30% must be 3 times 11, which is 33. So we could put 33 in here. And then that leaves us with 110 take away 33, which is 77. So I'll put 77 there. And lastly, when it comes to the contractors, we're told that 20% of the contractors use the bus. Well, 10% is 8 of 80, so double that, that's 16. And that leaves us with 80 take away 16, 64 there. And that's my completed Venn diagram. However, if I want to put these numbers in this Venn diagram, then it'd be the same argument. There'll be this one would go here, and that would leave us with 9 there. 33 would be in here, 33. And we would have the 77 out here. And then the 16 would go in here. If we can squeeze that in there, and you can see it, hopefully. And 64 would just put there. But that leaves this region in here. There'd have to be a zero there, okay? But as I say, I feel that this diagram overcomplicates things. So uh, it's up to you, though, which one you would prefer to use. Now, for the last part then, part E, we're asked then, find the probability that a randomly selected employee uses the bus to travel to work. So that's going to be the probability that someone takes the bus, probability of B. And this is very easy now that we've got the Venn diagram because we could just count up here that we've got 1, 33 and 16 people. That gives me a total of 50. 50 people use the bus out of 200. This reduces down to a quarter or as a decimal 0 0.25. Any of these exact answers would be suitable. All right?